Hello guys, how are you doing? Thanks for joining on Chris Talk Media. Uh, today is a very sad day. It's Christmas. It's supposed to be uh, a joyous day, a happy day for the Christians, you know. But quite unfortunately, uh, it's more or less like a sad day for people because of the incident that took place, you know, the incident uh, where a lawyer, a barrister, uh, Bolan Le Rahim, was shot by a police officer. And quite a few number of people have seen, uh, I've heard about this story and quite a few number of people are yet to hear about it. You know, I don't really want to delve into what actually happened that led to the police officer, you know, open life ammunition on a pregnant woman coming from the church on the 25th with her family in the car. I don't really want to go into what led to one thing or the other. Okay, it shows clearly that Nigerian police do not actually know their job. These are very untrained people, very unt highly untrained setup of people in uniform carrying guns. Because if you go to the Western world, which all of these politicians are emulating, you cannot see witness a situation like this. If a citizen is rude to a police officer, the police officer will find a way to get you arrested, take you to the police station to write a statement or to discuss or to talk about what has actually happened. But in the case of Nigeria, it's totally the opposite. At the refusal to give common 100 Naira, a police officer in Nigeria can open fire live ammunition on you. And this lady was coming from the church. I don't, no matter what the situation might be, regardless of what the lady might said, you do not have that right to open a live ammunition on her. But because you are carrying gun in uniform, because most of them are monsters, most of them are monsters, you know, because of a simple or a single hundred pound, just like I said, they can open a life ammunition on a citizen. It has happened before where citizens of the nation were killed here and there, you know, which led, led to the end SARS, you know. But then one very shocking thing about the response from the president is, uh, is, is said that justice will be served in this case. Justice will be served in this case. So. The cases that have taken place in the past, the police brutality, police killings in the past that has, that has taken place, that has happened, justice were not served. What happened in the case of Deborah? What happened in the case of people that have been killed? What happened in the case of Bamishi and the rest of people like that? But he said justice will be served in this particular case. Justice will be done in this case. The president, Muhammad Buhari, speaks on murder of pregnant Lagos lawyer, Bolan Rahim. The president has condemned the heinous and senseless killing of Omobolan Le Rahim, a member of the Nigerian Bar Association, shot by on duty police, policeman on Christmas Day. No, is it because she's a member of the Nigerian Bar Association? Is that the reason why the president said justice will be served in this country? Uh, justice will be served in this case. Is it because of that? Because I really do not understand. So all other people that have been killed by the police, by policemen, you know, justice was not were not supposed to be served in those cases because they don't belong to the Nigerian Bar Association. It's quite unfortunate because I mean, in all cases, justice ought to be served, should and must be served in all cases. Okay, I mean. These policemen, they carrying guns, some of them are high, they are drunk, they can do anything, even at the shortest mistake, at the shortest slight refusal of you to give them 100, 100 naira, they can open life ammunition on you. Those are not policemen, those are not police officers, those are demons in uniform. Even this, this app, as we speak, the identity of that particular police officer or those policemen are yet to be revealed to the public. By now, their names, their, their, their existence, their, their details, their, their biography, everything should be on the internet for, one, for people to see. Now, the police officer that have been detained or the policemen in connection with this particular union killing, they have been taken to a custody, the custody we are not so sure of, the custody we are not aware of, the custody of, of whose address is not known to the public. As we speak, the identity have not been have not been made known to the public. It's quite unfortunate. Even if this policeman or this police policeman who, who opened the fire, even if he's been sentenced, will this bring back the life? Will this bring back this young, beautiful lady with pregnancy? Will this bring this woman back to life? 
This is a lady that is carrying, I don't know how many months pregnancy. You can see in the picture that her, that her belly is, is, shows that she's pregnant. So in that case, that shows that two people were killed in that particular incident. Because the mother died, you know, the woman, the mother died. And they, definitely, the, probably the pregnancy is not matured enough. You know, so obviously the pregnancy is going to die. You know, even if the policeman has now been arrested and taken behind bars and been sentenced to life imprisonment, whatever, that does not mean that the life, or that does not mean that this lady, Bola Lerai, will be brought back to life. You know, it is quite unfortunately that we have highly untrained policemen, highly untrained setup of people. You go to Nigeria, you go to different kinds of see, areas in Nigeria, you see the way police react to you. They threaten you to give them money. Even if you refuse to give them that money, your life is at stake. In cases where we have heard or have seen police conniving with harm robbers to rob you, Every members of every uniform person in Nigeria is said to be corrupt. Every uniform person is said to be extortive. Every uniform person is said to always be after money. When you get to the immigration, they will be asking you for money. What did you bring from us? What did you bring for us rather? If you are on the road, you are driving, the police will stop you. Instead of them to check the vehicle and, and do their job the way they are supposed to do it, they will not bother about those ones. They will bother about the money you are going to give to them. And as soon as you give the money to them, even if you carry an uh, exhibit in your vehicle, they will ask you to go because you've given the money to them. We have highly untrained police officers. And I still blame the Nigerian government for giving guns to these kind of people. Highly untrained setup of people. Regardless of whatever the situation might be, he, he has no right. He has no temerity to open fire on a woman, to open fire on anybody or any citizen whatsoever let alone a lady that is pregnant, what could she have said? What could she have done to warrant, to warrant you opening the life emanation? It is really, really sad. And I hope, just like as the president said, that justice will be served in this case. I don't believe it. Okay, if justice is served at, at all, okay, justice is served, the policeman, the police officer, or the policeman, they are going to be stripped of, 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 their, of their ranks, of, 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 you know, of uh, relieved of their duties. That would not bring Bola Rahim back. That's, that's, that's one thing we need to understand. But going forward, what is the Nigerian government doing with regard to the Nigerian police? What is, Nigeria, what is the Nigerian government doing with regard to that? I don't want to go to the areas of the father that I know where that is not my business. If you know the, 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 as, a, as a policeman, if you know you are not contented with what you are getting on the salary, Leave the job, look for something else. Rather than carrying gun and threatening citizens on a daily basis and killing people here and there. This is really sad. The federal government must do something about this and the perpetrators must be brought to justice. And as a matter of fact, very quickly, the identity, the names of these policemen in connection to this brutal killing must be brought on the internet, must be brought to the public for every member of the world, of the, every citizen to see. You know, this is just an accruement. This is coming together one way or the other. Coming together, are they calling again for another answers? You know, because I do not understand. This is the one we're talking about. What about the ones we don't even know at all? What about the ones we don't even know? Police killing here and there. If you get to some police station, you'll be very sorry how the policemen, how they treat people in police custody. The people that are supposed to be arraigned to be tried in a court, the way they will be treating them, they are, like, that they, are, they are criminal. Police has no right to convince somebody. It is only the court that can convince you, a, a, convince you a, a, a criminal, not the police. But the way they will treat you in the police custody, say for instance, they, they arrest you on the street, you are already a criminal, just like you are ready to die. You know? So it's so terrible. And when you bring lump sum of money, when you give these people money, when you give these policemen money, they will release you regardless of whatever crime you have committed. You will go scot-free. That's the, that's the kind of situation we find ourselves. It is quite unfortunate. It is quite unfortunate. May the soul of uh, Bolali Rahim rest in peace and we send our condolences to the family.
uh, of of the late uh, Bolanle Rahim. It's it's very very sad. I mean, it's very very on a Christmas day where people are supposed to be celebrating, and enjoying. They went to the church only to come back to celebrate more and to enjoy the Christmas, and you know that was it. If she had known, she wouldn't have left the house on that day to go to church. But she didn't know. There is nothing wrong in people, you know, traveling on the road of Nigeria, you know, because as in Nigeria, you, you have the right, you, you, you have the, you have the uh, constitutional right, the fundamental human right of movement. And only for her to meet her untimely death, it is quite sad. Left for me, I would say this particular policeman or policeman in connection with this gruesome killing, not only them be brought to justice, their entire family has to pay penalty. That's what I would say. They are family because... They, 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 even if they put them behind bars, that still will not bring Bolanle back to life. That still will not bring Bolanle back to life. That's not what we are seeing. The people that have died that we are not even aware of, what about them? The people that are killed behind bars, they are killed behind scenes that the internet is not even aware of them. What about those ones? It is really sad. We send our condolences to uh, the families of uh, uh, Bolanle Rahim, the family and immediate, immediate family and extended family as well. Uh, it's such a, it was such a sad Christmas, a very, very dark Christmas day for them. But we hope that God will console them. It's quite sad. Guys, whatever your take it is, it's, uh, in this particular situation, please kindly leave it in the comment section for us. Give your opinion, give your thoughts. Try as much as possible to help us to share this, like, and comment. And uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. If this is your first time, try as much as possible to click on the subscribe button. We're going to be following back to back with regard to this particular case and bringing you updates. And if you are retire, if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please try and subscribe and open on this notification on uh, bell on the side so that you get notified anytime we drop a new clip. And until next time when I'll be seeing you, enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.